Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this Power Platform Fundamentals PL900 certification course. In this video, we're going to have a quick knowledge check on the things what we have learned on module 2. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's look at the first question. How can business rules be used in a canvas or model driven app? Is it to manage solution development and data storage? No. Is it to show or hide fields? Definitely not. So the correct answer is to validate data and show error messages. Validating data and showing error messages are one of the functionalities available in both canvas and model driven apps via business rule. Let's look at question number two. Your manager has built a solution using common data service using a few of the standard entities included out of the box. He wants to capture the data that new records are added to the entity, but he isn't sure how. He notices that date field is already inside his entity, but he wants the field to have a custom name of data confirmed. What would you recommend he do? Can he create a new entity with the name called date confirmed? No, that doesn't work. Or can he create a new environment with the name date confirmed? Absolutely not. So the correct answer is use the built in date field within the entity to store the date values, but rename the field to date confirmed. So whenever possible, if an entity has an existing field in the type you need, Reuse that field before creating a new one. Let's look at question number three. One of your co-workers has set up a model-driven application using the common data service. The app captures information about computer hardware assets, including their price. Your co-worker is concerned that users of the application are going to put incorrect values into the fields. For instance, they might put in the wrong cost number when submitting a new record. How could this be prevented? Is it by using Power Automate to validate that the field values matches what the table is expecting? No. Is it by the use of a Canvas app instead of a model driven app? Absolutely not. So the correct answer is use business rules to automatically validate the cost center for the currently logged in user. Because business rules can be used to validate field data on a form. Alright, so that concludes module 3. In the next video, we are starting a brand new module called module 3. And the first lesson we are going to learn in that module 3 is introduction to Power Apps. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.